And welcome back. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Lung cancer is actually the second most commonly diagnosed cancer in both men and women. It's also the top leading causes of cancer deaths in the United States, accounting for about one in five deaths. Joining us today is Kelly Moran with the American Cancer Society. Thank you, Kelly, for being here with us today. First, let's just remind everybody about the dangers of lung cancer and why it's so important to get checked out, to get screened. Yeah, thank you so much for having me here. I mean, I think you covered a lot of it. Mm -hmm. You know, the second uh, second leading cause of cancer-related deaths, and we actually know that 80% of those are directly related to smoking. And I was reading like it was like 400,000 people have died, uh, die every year Annually. of lung cancer. Yes. Annually, that's a phenomenal number. Yeah, a that, horrible that, number. That's a it's horrible staggering, number. yes. Yeah, so the lung cancer screening guidelines were just changed. What can you explain about the changes? Yes, they yeah. were. So they were actually just expanded yeah. to be more inclusive of mm -hmm. more people. So our new recommendations are that everyone ages between the ages of 50 to 80 that has a 20 year or greater pack history of smoking, um, talk to their doctor, talk to their primary care professional about getting screened. Um, and you know, previously we had kind of a caveat in there that if you had quit smoking for 15 years or more, you were not included in those screening guidelines. We're now including everyone because we know for lung cancer, like mm -hmm. all cancers, the earlier it's caught, the better your treatment outcomes are. Yeah, okay, so if someone is still smoking right now and they want to quit, what resources do you offer to help them quit? Yeah, well, one thing we have coming up is the Great American Smoke Out on November 16th, um, and that is a day that we encourage everyone to quit smoking or make a plan to quit smoking. Um, I will say it's not about quitting smoking for one day. You know, yeah. it's really about not smoking throughout the year, throughout your life. Um, we do have resources available. If you go to cancer.org, um, you'll find resources there, or there's people you can talk to about it. Um, and if you go to cancer.org slash get screened, there's information on screening. Very important topic to talk about. And, you know, one thing I, I we, we've done stories on vaping here at mm -hmm. Nine News. A lot of people have taken to vaping who used to be former smokers. You've mm -hmm. known all about that. Mm -hmm. Teen vaping rates are very high right now. Uh, what can you tell us about what is being looked at when it comes to vaping and maybe potential impacts to someone's lung health? Yeah, vaping's interesting. I will yeah. say, you know, the American Cancer Society definitely recommends not vaping. You know, yeah. to prove a link between vaping and something like lung cancer, it takes a lot of research. And so that is ongoing right now. But I think it's uh, fairly intuitive to know, you know, putting something in your lungs, lungs that isn't supposed to be there is not good. And most uh, healthcare professionals recommend against it. And going back to the screening process, let's say I want to get screened, I fall into those guidelines here, I want to get checked out, what should I expect? Yeah, you should um, talk to your primary health care provider. So the screening for lung cancer is a low-dose CT scan. It, it's very quick, yeah. um, but it's not something you just sign up for on your own. So you need to talk to your doctor, talk about you know your history, your um, ha health habits, things like that, and they'll help you determine if you should get screened. Pretty painless, though. Pretty painless, yeah, yep. Really, really in and out, I would imagine. Imagine. Absolutely. And, you know, lung yeah. cancer is something that not enough people are getting screened. You know, yeah. through the pandemic, we know we're behind on screening rates. Even before the pandemic, not as many people who are eligible to get screened for lung cancer are. And it's really critical that you do, because like we talked about, second leading cause of, or the leading cause of cancer deaths, secondly, most commonly diagnosed cancer. And 80% of lung cancers are related to smoking, but that means 20% aren't. So yeah. you don't you not being a smoker does not mean you won't get lung cancer. Well, well done today. Thank you for so much. Thank you so much for talking Thank to us. Thank you for about having this important me. Important topic. Very important. Thank you, Kelly.